Hi guys, how are you? Okay, I feel I, I feel like I sound sick. I'm not sure. Um, I'm sorry. I have no makeup on, and I look I probably look weird and creepy and weird. <laughs> But I wanted to take uh take you guys through the steps I do to put on my makeup. Uh what products I use, um, what brushes, um, what colors and everything like that. Well, first thing ever, I start off with the um moisturize just two pumps like that. I put it all over my face. I'm using my BB cream, look like this. It's the pink, hot pink one, and I usually pump it out in the back of my hand. And I pump out just a little bit at a time. And I'm pretty sure it's going to come out really, really white right now. Look at these little mirrors. I usually start off with my eyes, underneath my eyes and above my eyes. That's where I like to start off at. And I just dot around. And then with this finger, this finger, I just dot it around. And this is going to help uh, for not getting wrinkles. If I stop talking, it's because I'm concentrated on what I'm doing. And then I start getting more makeup, and I just dot it around, and then I blend it out. Something really, really important, you guys, is to blend out your foundation to your neck. This is super important because your foundation sometimes may be darker than your skin tone in your face or maybe lighter. And then you're gonna your face is gonna look all white or dark and your neck is gonna be like one color and it's not gonna look pretty. So you wanna blend that all the way down to your neck. You get a powder and I'm gonna use this one for the little mirror. The the one I'm using for a little mirror. It's the matte effect. And I have none left and it's a medium. I have almost none left. It's horrible. This is the Elf Complexion Brush, and this is just three dollars. And I'm gonna because the foundation is um, lighter than me, I'm gonna use a darker powder. That's why I'm using this one. And first of all, I'm gonna just roll it around, and then I'm just gonna tap around, and then I'm actually gonna blend it out and really apply it. Or you can you can um skip it if you want, but this is just to set your foundation for it not to look cakey, for it not to run. Um, it can so it won't sweat off basically, so it can last longer. My NYX um pencil in dark brown. I'm not sure. Kind of this brush, whatever brush like this, and then I just comb them through. And the intensity of uh, your primer potion, I'm just using the Urban Decay one. If you don't have a primer potion, a primer potion is for your, your eyeshadow to stay on longer, to stay all day. If you don't have a primer potion, I suggest you guys use a concealer instead. Because it works, it doesn't work as good, but it kind of still works. And just any concealer, in this case a concealer by Sally Hansen. Any concealer that you, might got, that you guys might have. I all around the lid up to um, your brow bone and you can do this with the brush with your finger and I guess I'm making this all the way up and then I like to bring it down because I do use shadow underneath. I'm gonna take my Milani um quad. It's just um or shadows. It looks like that. I'm gonna take this one right here, the lighter one. And this palette is in the Earthly Delights number four. I'm gonna take my BH Cosmetics um angle brush. Tap off a little bit. I think it has too much. I'm 
rules like that. If you have any fallout, get a stupid brush and just brush it off. So it will. You can also take a light shadow, and I'm going to take this one right here. It's your highlight. That's just a really pretty kind of yellow color. The same little quad. Uh, you can put that underneath your brows. It's an e.l.f. professional eyeshadow brush. And these are just a dollar at uh, Target. I'm going to add a little bit of Arcolino, that coppery color right there. By Tokidoki again. And I'm just going to add it to the crease. Backwards. The crease is actually from here. The crease is where you're gonna put your brush and it's gonna go in. Like it's gonna go in and that's where your crease your crease is located. And that's where I'm gonna place my coppery shadow. And then I'm just gonna place it and then I'm just gonna like start blending it in. I'm just going to add eyeliner, and this is Maybelline Eye Studio in um, Black is Black, and it's just a gel liner. I usually use gel liner. That's the only thing I, use, I like. I don't use pencil liner. I don't use water liner, and I'm going to use this angled brush, and this is by an, uh, from Michaels. I bought it. It's a crown, the royal crown brush, and it's a one-fourth of a brush, I guess. I'm going to put it underneath my lower lash line. I'm just bring it in um, half ways or less than half ways. Like that. And that's just so your eyes can look a little bit bigger. That's a trick um, I learned. Now you curl and apply mascara. Okay. Blush. And I'm going to use my e.l.f. Uh, powder brush. It looks like that. It's a little flat brush. I'm going to use my Milani blush. It's in Sweet Cheeks number one. You can get this, scroll around, and then do a little fish face and just apply it. And then way at the top of the temple, I'm going to focus that and just go a little bit round. Illuminator. And I have NARS. This is NARS Orgasm. And then I have this one, this is Revlon. It's a concealer and a highlight, and one and two, it looks like that. See, that's the highlight, and that's the concealer. So I'm going to get actually get this one instead of the NARS one, because I want to run out of my NARS one. NARS is so expensive. Now, the key points I'm going to show you. First of all, we're going to start off with the center of your nose. And you can put it, apply it, tap it around like that and apply it in your cupid bill. And then right here around your eye, that's where you're going to put it at. Just going to get a little bit more and do some on your chin, then your forehead. Um, it's up to you guys whatever lip color you want to use, but I think red is really in. You could use a lipstick or you could use a lip gloss or gloss and it's by Kat Von D. And it's in um, underage red. It's such a really pigmented gloss. You are basically done. And there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, this is what I've been usually wearing um, most of the days. Um, this is could be this could be an everyday look. Um, you could tone it down a little bit if you're going to school. Of course, you just use one shadow, maybe just a light brown color. Uh, it could be a party. 
uh, look. It could be something for prom. It could be something for um, if you're going out on a date or just out with your friends or anything like that. Anything, anything event special, maybe your, your job, a job interview or something. Uh, this could be really, really good, really useful. And hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.